Hello everybody, it's me, um, DJ King. I wanted to do like a take back, a retro back bag from Dooney and Burke. And it's in a collection that I wish they would bring back so I could purchase more items from it. I purchased this um, pre-loved, so I knew that going in, so I wasn't expecting a brand new, not used purse, because I know people say that in some time, it's not. But I knew this was pre-loved, and it was a print that, um, sorry, something flying in my face. <laughs> it was a print that I saw online in one of the YouTube videos, and I was like, oh my gosh, I just love that print. And what it is, it's a retro print, and it almost reminds you of the new collection that they have now, the Doodle Collection with all the bright colors in it and the white background. This one is an older version, so I know this is not available now, it's not in the outlet now, and I didn't want anybody to get confused thinking that this is the new collection, but this is an older piece, and I just call it retro because I don't know if that was the exact name um, that it came out in. Because I purchased it pre-loved maybe a year and a half or so ago. And I tend to pull it out when it's um, more or less summertime. Because I like the bright, bright colors. So the bag I'm talking about is this. It is a drawstring bucket bag. And like I said, I call it retro print. I'm not sure the technical name. I just know it's Dooney and Burke. And it's titled retro for me. <laughs> but it has the white background. The bright colors, the Kelly green that I'm dying to come back, your yellows, orange, the blues, um, purple is in there. I mean, this is like the perfect, perfect type bags that we like carrying in the summer because it has your fun prints, as I keep saying on there. And the bag, it did have, it did have some patina on it when I purchased it, but like I said, I knew I was buying it pre-loved, so. It wasn't one of those pre-loved bags where you get it and it's all beat up and you got to spend a ton of time trying to rejuvenate it. It came with the shoulder strap, which was a good thing because a lot of times people don't keep the strap with the bag. And so the strap is detachable right here on the sides and you can just carry it as a regular um, bucket bag. And I do carry it in the crook of my arm like this sometimes. But to have the option just to carry by the handles is an option. And let me show you the. It's not long enough to be crossbody, but it comes right there. So just so you can see in relation how it's. My fault. Right there. So I mean, to wear a crossbody, I mean, that would look silly. <laughs> but <laughs> um, the strap is adjustable, but this is already at is one more hole that I can place it in so even if I put it down there it's not going to be crossbody for me um but I didn't purchase it to wear it crossbody I purchased it because I wanted to carry it you know like this I found this item when I was yard selling it does not go with the bag it's a total different retro print but same white background same different colors but the letters are the font of the letters is different and this has the Dooney and Burke pink heart background chain with it. And this is some heavy hardware on here. Key ring, which I never put my keys attached to this. And this little thing, I'm going to get back to the bag. I, I digressed. <laughs> the inside is just, it's a little coin pouch. So the inside is just standard, just open, no card slots or nothing. Slip pocket on this side. And as small as this is, it does have a zipper pocket on the front. So I just thought it was perfect to go with this bag. So I'm going to get into detail about the bag, but I bought it to go with that. I mean, this was only, I think they had it on sale for like a dollar or two dollars. So, I mean, I couldn't pass it up. Even if I didn't use it with this bag, the colors in it, it'll go with every bag possible. <laughs> so slip pocket here, zipper here. And if you can see, it has the rainbow zipper pull on both parts and now let's get on with the bag the bag like I say white background nice bright colors no feet which I'm fine with because like I say I don't really sit my bags on the ground anyway even if it did have feet so that that's not really a problem it's drawstring um, it did not come with a dust bag I will say that but the corner wear on this bag was even in 
decent condition for it to be used and i don't know how long this person had the bag or how often they used it i mean i didn't have to wipe any stains off or anything there's no discoloration on the bag so as you can see it does have some patina here but discoloration like this part here the white background hasn't started to turn yellow yet how you see some bags were over time from sitting in the sun or just the way you store it so the front of the bag here we have this little tag your little luggage tag and then it has the drawstring pull inside of the bag is lined with the light blue interior here is your Dooney and Burt logo on the back wall zipper pocket slip pocket in front of the zipper pocket so slip and zip as we say <laughs> on the opposite side same standard setup you have a pocket here, a pocket here, and this pocket actually snaps. Let's see if it'll show up. And I mean, this bag isn't as big as the Buckley bag. If you all have that, the Dooney and Burke bag, it's a lot smaller than that, but it's a nice size bucket bag. Like I'm pleased with this bag for like when I'm just out on the go or like to go to the beach or something, I've carried this several times and it goes with every like every outfit i have on green right now it's not a kelly green it doesn't but like an olive army green and it goes with that if i had on yellow it would go with that all black i could still carry this this bag it was like one of my favorites and they had it in um what's the other with the black background i couldn't find one that was not damaged <laughs> online so i guess people really like the black one but I wanted the white background because I was like, it had all the pops of color in it. So, Peter Dooney, I need you to bring this bag back, possibly in the size that's similar to Buckley, if you could make it bigger, because I don't think I could use one that was any smaller than this. Um, I'm okay with the lining on this bag. I haven't had any issues. Like I say, the zipper pocket, slip pocket, two back pockets with the snap here and smaller pocket here and this bag I actually didn't stuff and it still has held its shape and like I said I've had it I want to say maybe a year and a half probably going on two years I know I've carried it for last summer and I'm gonna carry it this summer and I think I carried it the summer before so I just wanted to show this to you all because I don't know how many people have this bag I don't see it talked about a lot on the YouTube um channels right now so i don't know if some people just didn't like it because of the size or if they didn't like it because it wasn't um say florentine or nylon but i love this bag and again if he could bring this back with a matching carrington in this print because i have the black one with this print on there and i have worn it so much to the point where i'm not scared to use it but i don't want to overuse it in case he doesn't come back out with it again because if he does, I would definitely purchase another one to have as a backup. Because, I mean, I love it. And I didn't have the white Carrington in this background print. So that's what I'm looking for now. But if the print comes back out, I will get the white one and the black Carrington. If he comes out with the Willis in this print, I will get the Willis. If he comes out with um, key fob that matches this print, I will get it. If he comes out with a large enough wallet that's similar to like the um, the Willis that we love so much, I would get that. If he comes out with just some people like a little small, like a flap wallet. I mean, that size would be perfect in this because like I say, the bag is not large. This would, some would say this is small, some would say it's medium, but it's not the same size as Buckley. That's the only drawstring bag I can compare it to on top of my head that people might possibly have um detachable straps like i say it opens up let's see it opens up like that so i mean it's a cute little bag and it's perfect for the summer months because it has these bright colors in it and again i like coming outside so you all can see stuff in the natural lighting to see how bright and vivid these colors are this bag is just gorgeous and i hope he brings it back or bring this print back and give us a leisure shopper in this print some people like zip zips in this print 
Carrington's wristlets, wallets, coin cases, eyeglass cases, umbrellas, um, luggage, people, anything in this print, I think people would love to have it back. So again, I'm calling it the retro print because it was from back in the day and I think my Carrington was, it was considered the retro print, but I just wanted to show this bag to you all so you could see and kind of like a throwback. And again, my little coin pouch is not exact match, but same white background, same bright, pretty colors. So I just use it, throw it right in, <laughs> it matches perfectly. All right. See you next time.